Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today for uh, Cloudflare's webinar. Uh, today, we'll be learning about the cryptocurrency platform CoinGecko and their usage of Cloudflare's Argo smart routing and tiered caching for a 65% uh, gain on website performance. So let's dive into our speakers for today. Uh, my name is Brady Gentile. I'm a product marketing manager here at Cloudflare. I'm TM Lee, a co-founder at CoinGecko, and happy to be sharing our experience here using Cloudflare. Thanks, TM. So our agenda for today, uh, we're going to go over some quick housekeeping information, uh, a brief overview of Cloudflare for folks joining who may not be familiar, uh, an overview of Cloudflare's Argo smart routing and tiered caching solution, uh, and then TM from CoinGecko is going to dive into an overview of CoinGecko and how Cloudflare and more specifically Argo assisted in lowering the latency uh, of their cryptocurrency platform. And then we'll wrap things up at the end with a live Q&A session. So let's jump into housekeeping real quick. Uh, all questions uh, can be answered or uh, asked in the questions chat box in ReadyTalk. We'll triage uh, all these questions at the end of the presentation. And we'll also be emailing the slides and recordings to uh, anyone who's registered through the ReadyTalk platform. Uh, all attendees are going to be muted throughout this presentation. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, for those joining us today who aren't familiar with Cloudflare, we're going to take a few minutes to review. Uh, and to start out, we'll jump into Cloudflare's uh, network. So Cloudflare's network scale is pretty massive. Our global Anycast network consists of 119 data centers across 58 countries. We serve around 10% of the world's internet requests every day, which is actually highly relevant to uh, how Argo functions, and we'll learn about that in a little bit. Um, that amounts to over 5 million requests a second, and we have over 7 million internet applications and APIs on our network. And another important thing to note as well, um, from an architectural perspective, every one of Cloudflare's data centers can accept any type of request. So all of Cloudflare's performance and security services are available within each of the data centers. So there's no scrubbing centers. Now let's quickly jump into security and performance challenges. Uh, we spent time with customers across a number of industry verticals to understand uh, the most common security threats and performance challenges for internet applications and APIs. And so from a uh, security perspective, the first threat that we identified was DDoS attack. And this is when an overwhelming amount of tra uh, distributed traffic renders a website or application intermittently responsive or completely down. Uh, and these attacks typically affect network and application layers. So those are layers three, four, and seven, or uh, DNS infrastructure. The second is uh, malicious bot abuse. So we're seeing malicious bot activity and abuse of websites and applications through things like content scraping, uh, checkout fraud, and account takeovers. And then the last is uh, data theft attempts. And these are brought on by brute force login attacks, DNS spoofing, uh, snooping of data in transit, and things of that nature. And then from a performance perspective, uh, the first challenge that, that customers have seen is slow loading internet applications and APIs. And that's typically due to heavy content or long distances to, uh, to hosting servers. And uh, the second is slow mobile websites and applications. Um, so slow loading mobile sites and applications, they introduce performance and content delivery constraints and they hurt the overall user experience, especially when mobile is uh, increasingly becoming more and more a standard for accessing these applications and APIs. And then the final thing is unavailable applications, and that's uh, overloaded or unavailable infrastructure and networks that prevent users from accessing content. And so, you know, Cloudflare solves all of these challenges through a variety of different uh, services, and it's a, a stack of performance and security services specifically. Uh, these services include a web application firewall, rate limiting, uh, an IP reputation database, SSL encryption, 
our content delivery network, um, Argo Smart Routing, and more. The list is, is pretty long here. Uh, but today, specifically, we're going to be diving into uh, Argo Smart Routing. And to jump into that a little bit more, uh, Argo Smart Routing and tiered caching uh, are somewhat combined in, in this instance. And first we'll talk about uh, Cloudflare's Argo Smart Routing challenges. So routing challenges that uh, customers and, and end users are experiencing. And the two challenges are slow loading times and poor user experiences. Uh, so content that's delivered from your server relies on the quality of network paths for the fastest performance. And you know, traditional networking, it utilizes static routing information, which in many cases, it sends content across slow and congested paths. And this is unavoidable because that path is, is pretty much set. Uh, those slow loading times, they increase the likelihood of poor user experiences, and, uh, and it, this can reduce conversions, revenue, and brand recognition. And so what Argo uh, Smart Routing does to help overcome these challenges uh, is essentially two things. It's congestion avoidance, and connection reuse. And so Argo's ability to avoid congestion in network paths is derived from Cloudflare's network intelligence. Um, so as I mentioned before, we process over 10% of all internet traffic. And our Argo smart routing algorithm analyzes this traffic running through Cloudflare's network and makes the best routing decisions based on those existing conditions. Uh, it avoids overwhelmed and unreliable network paths and makes sure that your content is delivered as quickly as possible. In addition, Argo minimizes latency imposed by connection setup, uh, and it does this through persistent TCP connections or connection reuse. Uh, and persistent connections allows for the congestion window size or the number of bytes that can be sent at a time to be at a maximum. And this reduces the occurrence of slow start delays. So more data can be sent faster with pre-existing connections uh, versus trying to create brand new ones. And then finally, uh, along with Argo is Cloudflare's Argo tiered caching. And uh, if you're a self-serve customer, uh, so free pro or business customer on Cloudflare, and you enable Argo, you automatically get access uh, two tiered caching um, from for Cloudflare Enterprise customers, tiered caching is automatically uh, available for your use. Uh, essentially, Argo's tiered caching technology uses uh, what we're labeling tier one Cloudflare data centers to propagate content to Cloudflare's global network of data centers, and this minimizes static content requests to your server, uh, as well as reducing the cost. And so by minimizing static content requests, origin servers are experiencing uh, lower loads and uh, less bandwidth usage. And this can even lower response latencies, both during cache purges and uh, when delivering new static content updates. So now that we're all caught up, uh, I'm gonna pass things off to Tim Lee, co-founder of CoinGecko, and he'll dive into his experiences optimizing website performance and using Cloudflare with Argo Smart Routing. Thanks, Brady. Um, so first of all, maybe I can tell you guys a little bit about CoinGecko. So we are a cryptocurrency analytics website. Uh, basically, what we do is we track more than a thousand uh, publicly traded cryptocurrencies out there. Uh, we collect a uh, bunch of data, such as market data, uh, price, market capitalization, volume, and also uh, additional metrics such as uh, developer activity, community size, public interest for a given cryptocurrency. Uh, we're currently based in Singapore and Malaysia uh, and since launched back in 2014, and excited to be one of the major go-to websites for all cryptocurrency information. Uh, due to the Surge in global interest within the topic of cryptocurrency, we are seeing an extreme growth in our page views uh, with traffic sources coming from uh, all parts of the world, primarily the US, Japan, uh, Germany, and the UK. 
So here are some screenshots of how CoinGecko looks like. Uh, you can see on the left that is our main chart. Uh, in this table, you can quickly explore a bunch of different metrics such as market information, developer community, and public interest. Uh, of course, you could also choose and dive into a specific cryptocurrency that you are interested in. Uh, you'll be able to pull some historical price charts, uh, uh, see the growth of the community size, and generally just get more information for that uh, for the given coin. We also provide uh, a price widget which our users can embed on their blog or website, uh, so they can share this uh, price information with uh, their website visitors. Here is a chart from uh, Google Search Trend um, showing the general uh, uh, search interest of uh, how many people all over the world are searching for the keyword Bitcoin and its other alternative cryptocurrencies such as Ripple, Ethereum, uh, just within 2017 itself. And you will notice the chart just grows all the way up. Like there's an explosive growth in the interest and market size within the cryptocurrency industry. And what this means is that there is a huge growing market of visitors looking to learn more about cryptocurrency, either for the purpose of trading or just out of curiosity. Um, they want to discover uh, what are the available publicly traded cryptocurrencies in the market. Uh, they want to acquire the latest market information. And they also want to gain uh, additional insights, such as uh, checking out if uh, the developer code base is this active and who are the community behind the given uh, project. And what we do at CoinGecko is basically to serve that demand. That is uh, to provide an easy go-to website for all information related to cryptocurrency. So our key drivers are as follows, um, scale, security and performance, and ease of use. Uh, and these drivers uh, kind of tie back into our motivation to use Cloudflare. Uh, talking about scale, as we have seen earlier, due to the explosive interest and market growth, we needed a tool that allows us to scale uh, CoinGecko in order to keep up with that trend. Uh, security is, is important as well. Um, in order uh, for us to mitigate malicious users and uh, fend off uh, DDoS attacks uh, that we get uh, every now and then. Uh, finally, we found that Cloudflare provides some tools that allow us to optimize the performance of our website with minimal effort, uh, which I think is really ideal for a small engineering team like, like ours. Later in June 2017, uh, uh, I, I saw this email uh, from, from Cloudflare uh, on, on a new product called Algo. Right? The, the email seems convincing with that little chart uh, at the bottom showing uh, some speed improvement. So I thought, why not check that out, right? So uh, Argo is a new product I shared by Brady earlier that helps to optimize traffic routing uh, within Cloudflare. Um, this, this seems like a low risk way to accelerate our website content to our customers. So I thought, why not we just give it a go? Um, the setup is really simple. Uh, with only just a flip of a switch uh, and there is no lock-in commitment, no contracts to sign, so in return, by just turning on Argo, we see a huge performance boost uh, uh, coming from the traffic routing. So if you ask me, uh, I think this is great for a small engineering team. We get to accelerate our website without making too much heavy infrastructure change. In terms of the impact we see with Argo, um, here is a graph that we pulled from New Relic. So as you can see here, the network time uh, seems to have gotten better from somewhere around 0 0.7 seconds down to 0.35 seconds. That's about a 40 to 50% of improvement. And then we did another test using CatchPoint, and uh, we are seeing a, a lower wait time for Argo. Uh, the wait time improved from somewhere around uh, 180 milliseconds down to just over 100 milliseconds with Argo. And that gives us about a 40% improvement as well. So another graph here that comes from the Cloudflare Analytics tool, um, right here, we'll probably see a better result. Um, here we are seeing the average response time improvement, uh, which kind of corresponds to what we saw earlier with New Relic. 
uh, the majority of our traffic uh, uh, are being smart routed and is taking advantage of Argo. And we're seeing a huge net improvement in performance, uh, and it's at about 66%. Uh, As our traffic sources are distributed globally, uh, we are really taking full advantage of Argo. Uh, most of our origin servers are uh, located in the US East region, uh, which is somewhere in Ohio uh, and North Virginia. Uh, as such, uh, we are taking huge advantage of Cloudflare's expansive uh, content delivery network together with Argo Smart Routing. So as you can see from this geographical chart, uh, regions that are further away from the origin server uh, seems to see the greatest impact in terms of performance, such as Japan, Singapore, and west side of the US. And finally, uh, Cloudflare helped us uh, to save some bandwidth. Uh, that's about 24.46 uh, terabyte, which is pretty massive in my view. So to wrap up my thoughts uh, personally on Argo, um, I would say that Argo is a really simple tool. It's super easy to get started. And as I mentioned earlier, all you need is just a flick of a button. Um, another thing to note is that Argo uses a pay-as-you-go model, which may appear daunting. Uh, however, there is no locking commitment. So you can just turn it off if you're not happy with the results you're getting or if it goes beyond your budget. Uh, more importantly, um, I think it's to at least give Argo a try and at least evaluate the performance improvement with the business impact you are getting. If the business impact is significant, the Argo fees may well be worth it. Um, so one, one thing I want to point out also is that if you're happy with Argo and, and want to avoid the pay-as-you-go model, uh, the enterprise plan puts Argo on a flat fee. So uh, if you're already on an enterprise plan, you want to consider just turning on Argo um, and, and take advantage of the uh, performance boost. So aside from Argo, we are using uh, the content delivery network quite extensively as well. Uh, this is especially crucial as we are serving traffic uh, to, to different parts of the world. Um, so uh, this helps us to improve uh, web performance and also to reduce our bandwidth costs. Um, also, uh, get to uh, keep our site secure and maintain a high uptime rate with Cloudflare's uh, easy to use uh, DDoS protection tool. All in all, uh, Cloudflare helped us to improve our overall user experience and helped us to scale our website to meet uh, the global demand. So just a final thought on scalability. Uh, my first step is, is always to find ways of improving performance without having to over-engineer the system. Uh, instead, I opt for quick wins that gives us the best performance return that directly impacts our business. Um, Cloudflare seems to be that tool which allows us to scale with the configuration. Uh, generally, it, I think it's a fantastic tool set for a small engineering team like ours. Um, then when, when the business impact is realized, uh, we can slowly then plan and implement additional performance improvements over time uh, in order to optimize uh, the website further and reduce its page load latency. Uh, uh, but based on my experience, uh, this allows us to uh, manage our engineering resources better between uh, building features and uh, scaling up our, our, our infrastructure for performance. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, that's, that's all I have to share so far, and uh, I'll hand this back off to Brady. Awesome. Thanks so much for sharing, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, TM. All right. For everyone who's uh, made it to the end of the presentation here, uh, there's a list of resources um, to access. So we have the Argo Smart Routing product page, a technical blog posting that dives into the specific details of Argo Smart Routing and tiered caching, uh, some more billing information uh, about Argo for uh, self-serve customers, and then uh, a little bit more information in our knowledge base regarding uh, analytics for Argo, uh, which includes uh, the two graphs that uh, TM had showed, one that's sort of a geography-based graph, as well as uh, performance improvement. So now it's time to switch to the live Q&A. 
If anyone has any questions, please feel free to uh, drop them into the ReadyBox chat and uh, TM and myself would be more than happy to answer. So it looks like we have a first question from Dimitri. Um, Dimitri's question is, uh, what does it mean uh, helped me save 24 terabits? So I think you're referring to the slide um, that TM had put up right here regarding the 24 terabits saved in the past month. So the way that Cloudflare works is uh, static website uh, content ends up being cached on Cloudflare's network of data centers. And so instead of serving that content, um, instead of serving that content uh, from your origin server, it gets sent from Cloudflare server. And so essentially what Cloudflare is doing is it's saving, uh, saving bandwidth. Yeah, to add on to that, uh, uh, the bandwidth uh, savings is, is significant uh, as uh, most of the requests due to, due to the caching on this uh, content delivery network level, uh, the, the request will, will hit the CDN and in, uh, instead of hitting our origin server. So the bandwidth cost, uh, bandwidth saving is significant and it also helps us to use uh, less servers as well. And we have another question here. What's your strategy regarding updates on time-sensitive data like price and Cloudflare caching? Uh, so, so with Cloudflare, you can actually set rules around uh, how often you'd like to cache and purge specific content. Um, in addition, there's also cache tags that you can utilize so you can tag specific pieces of content uh, and label them how often you'd, you'd like to, to purge them out. Uh, yeah, so as far as our use case is concerned, uh, time-sensitive data, like price, uh, we generally try to cache them to the very minimal, which is say about one minute, but we also load this page uh, from the cache and then try to load uh, the latest price uh, using an Ajax request and load them on top of the site. Um, so we get to serve the initial page faster using caching, and then we'll try to pull uh, uh, the latest price using a separate request. So the user experience would generally be much better that way. And another question, um, what is needed to switch on Argo? Um, I think sort of as, as Tian mentioned, uh, you need to be on any Cloudflare plan, uh, and this also includes the free plan. So as part of general setup, if you're not already on Cloudflare, uh, the way to join Cloudflare is essentially just changing your DNS record, which is really easy and can be done in about five minutes. Um, this not only will help you get on Cloudflare, but you also receive the benefits of integrated security and performance. And then to actually switch on Argo, um, you really literally just have to flip a switch in Cloudflare's dashboard. Um, TM, what was, what was your experience? Yeah, so uh, that's exactly it. Um, so when we, uh, in order to use Argo, uh, you just have to be on Cloudflare. Uh, as Bailey mentioned, all you need is uh, DNS setup, which won't take too long. Uh, and then once you're on Cloudflare, then go into the dashboard, uh, look for Argo, which is under speed, if I'm not mistaken, and then just flip the on switch. Uh, so there's no package installation, no setup on the server side. Uh, it's, it's really just uh, that straightforward. Awesome. Uh, it looks like we have another question here. What is the performance gain uh, that I can expect from Argo? So uh, almost all customers are going to see an imp performance improvement from Argo, but the actual imp uh, improvement gains kind of switches uh, from customer to customer. And so the, the more content that needs to be sourced from the origin and the further away that the origin server is, the higher the performance you're going to end up seeing uh, with Argo Smart Routing. Um, as an average, though, currently we're seeing around 25% um, 25% uh, decrease in website latency for folks who have enabled Argo. Um, uh, 
Uh, for for CoinGecko side, um, I think based on the result that we are getting, um, uh, I see Algo acting like a super highway um, that routes the traffic through a less congested network. Uh, less congested network. So uh, request origin, uh, request that comes from uh, a geographical location that is further away from our origin server. Uh, will probably see the greatest impact of, of using Algo, uh, which we have seen in, in, in the analytics where uh, because our servers are located in, in the U.S. East region, uh, traffic sources that come from Japan and Singapore will probably see the best uh, performance gain uh, from network time, and that's probably about 40 to 60 percent. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Sam. So an another good question that came in here, and this one actually might be slightly more technical uh, beyond my level, but all TCP connections use congestion avoidance. So when you say that Argo uses congestion avoidance, uh, do you mean that your TCP settings are specifically tuned? If so, how? Or perhaps you're using another protocol internally. Um, so, so the TCP settings are specifically tuned my understanding of it is that you can tune it uh, to continue to keep a persistent connection uh, for a specific number of seconds. In terms of tuning to avoid congestion, um, I actually have to provide more information after the webinar to you for that. Um, A uh, question here on the pricing of Argo. So how is Argo priced? So, so Argo is going to be priced differently between self-serve and enterprise plans. Um, so I'll actually switch to a slide here as well. Um, so, so based on the amount of data that trans that's transferred between Cloudflare and visitors, and this includes cache hits uh, and both requests to and responses from the origin, uh, you won't be, and you also won't be charged for attack traffic, but it's charged on a per gigabyte basis. So it's $5 to initially activate, and then 10 cents per gigabyte to transfer between Cloudflare and your visitors. Um, and then you can try out Argo because your first gigabyte of Argo usage is going to be free. Yeah, so uh, as far as our experience is concerned, um, just uh, every time when you get the monthly bill, uh, which, say for example, if you're on pro or business plan, our goal will be built uh, alongside with those plans. And uh, if you are evaluating our goal, it will be good to see how much you're paying and decide for yourself if, if this is something that you want to continue. Uh, if it's not, if, it's, if it goes beyond your budget and you're not seeing uh, the result that you like, then you could just uh, turn it off uh, anytime. There's, there's really no lock-in period at all. All right, we'll hang on just for one other minute to see if anyone else has any last-second questions. Uh, otherwise, we'll, we'll wrap things up. All right, it looks like, uh, oh, one more question came in. Uh, do, sites, do sites that do not pay for Argo compete for internal connection resources with Argo? Do they use separate networks? Do sites that do not compete? Okay, so I think, I think the question is referring to other sites that you would use on Cloudflare that aren't paying for Argo, is that, uh, is that accurate? Okay, so confirmed that's accurate. Um, so they, they end up not competing for resources. Uh, 
it's it's a separate, uh, completely separate path that someone would use if they're using if they're using Argo using the origin server and Cloudflare's network to the visitor. Um, it still uses Cloudflare's network though, uh, in terms of where the routing goes. So if if it's a faster route uh, by using Cloudflare's network, then it'll utilize that route. But there's no um, there's no competition per se. Uh, another question by Alan, will Argo work for China users for origin servers outside of China? So currently my understanding is that Argo is not set up for our China network. Um, at a future date, we might be uh, we might be having it uh, available for use with China. All right, so I think we'll wrap things up now. Um, TM from Coin Gecko, thank you so much for uh, sharing your story with us today. Everyone, thanks so much for joining, and uh, we look forward to talking with you soon. Take care. Thank you, Brady. Thanks, thanks everyone.